Fuck. Fuck. Oh, you're what? Oh, hey. Another week. Oh, shit. Football is crazy, huh? So okay. crazy. Oh, so crazy. Um, all right. We are back. Um, dude. Uh, so I went to in the or yeah, I, I almost said I went to in the in end zone. End zone's crazy. In the end That's zone. insane. Um, <laughs> So our podcast is named after a bar called End Zone. For those who don't know, it's a like a pretty popular dive bar in Boise, right across the street from campus. And um, basically, I just had nothing going on Saturday. I was expecting I was going to go to the game, and we just ended up not going. So I was like, whatever, I'll just hang out. So we go to End Zone, and the place was packed, dude. Like it was nice weather. Not a lot of people went to the game, so it was like you know, it was a packed event. Saw a lot of people there. At some point, I just like hit a wall. Because Saturday was just a long day of, and I knew like Sunday was just going to be a long, like grueling day of like editing and homework and whatever. So I was like, well, I haven't eaten much today. Like I had a snack at Cody's house. Um, I'm going to go get some pie hole, which is this like pay by the slice pizza place. Uh, Never right a great decision. No. It's just it's easy. Next to uh, end zone. And <laughs> dude place is like packed and i'm like i'm not gonna wait in line and i start i get like 10 steps away I go fuck man pizza sounds so good right now so I, <laughs> I i scurry my little ass back and i'm like all right i'm walking i'm like i'm gonna stand in line uh i'm next to this guy and he i don't know what he was on he was about my age but he was like he was way too talkative for me like just way too social especially when I'm just trying to get pizza and go, mm -hmm. he goes, he's like right in front of me and he goes to order. He's like, Hey, I need whatever, whatever. And, um, she comes up to me and she's like, what do you want? And I was like, I'll just get a margarita, like lightest thing I okay. could think of. Okay. 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 I'm well, sorry. I just wanted a cheese That's pizza. Blasphemous. That's blasphemous. I just wanted a cheese pizza. That's blasphemous. Get a sorry. pepperoni. No, the pepperoni always pepperoni jacks my stomach. Pepperoni is the minimum that you can do at fucking pile. No, it's the minimum it, you can do. But it jacks my stomach up. And, and I don't want to have potato bacon. Get the potato have... bacon. That shit's no hard. way. You got a fucking cheese pizza. From I did. That is I got a disgusting. cheese pizza, and it was hitting. That's me. blasphemous. That's Every bite was crazy. more fire than the last. Well, listen. All right, all right, all right. So, so the kid next to me, he looks at me. He goes, "I have to take off my glasses for this." He goes, <laughs> "No potato bacon." Oh my god. <laughs> no, you're not. You're not getting a potato bacon. He starts going cross eyed. Yeah, he just like I don't know what he's doing. Wait, it's the same kid. Well, that was way. Yeah, it's the same kid. He was like oh. he was chatting with his like buddy right before he went up to the line to order, and then he orders a potato bacon, and then he sees me order, and he just like looks over to me and he goes, dead in my eyes, no potato bacon. Oh. And I go, oh, that's creepy. I go. Uh, nope. no, man. I go, uh, no, just, uh, can't eat pork. And he goes, oh, oh, you're religious. Okay. And I go, oh, I go, this dude was a freak. I go, nope, I'm just, oh. a I go, nope, I'm just a Christian. Uh, I just don't want to have an upset stomach. Uh, and I was like, <laughs> pork always does that to me. And the potato bacon is like my kryptonite. <laughs> and he goes, wow, the margarita pizza I've heard is really good. And he's like, nice order. And then like daps me up, and then he no, he didn't dap you up. He did. He like no. tried to fist bump me, and I was like, ah, "Yeah, for sure, dude. Pizza's sick." Oh my god! And, All right. Uh, Wait. This so sound, this, why does this guy sound zesty? Are you trying to make him sound that way, or is that actually no, how he was? He was like, like, he was coming off like zesty, like a drunk zesty, just like too so in my face, like Drake. His new nope, Drake. No potato bacon. He was low key like Riley. Yeah, he was just like in my face. No I'm like, bro, dog? get out of here. Yeah. No chorizo dog. Oh, ice no cream machine broken. No hot dog. Yeah. No, no glizzies. glizzies. Dude. <laughs> crazy. Dude, it was That's so crazy, awkward. Bro. And like, I Wait, get so out he, of there. Did you see him in end zone beforehand? No. Or was he like a no. freshman? He had to have been a freshman then. Had I think, been. dude, this camera is going to give me an aneurysm. Fucked, bro. I think it's a light background low key. 
Oh, you might be right. You might be right. Oh, yeah, you are right. Wow, yeah. it's the mirror, dog. It's yeah. the mirror. It's the mirror. Got that, homie. Um, no, <laughs> I don't know what he was, bro, but he was he was hammered because he probably just came from Suds, but whatever. It was just it was such or the game, time. honestly. What that definitely sounds like a freshman. It was an absolute. It was probably a freshman. No potato bacon. Though. No potato bacon. Oh, you're no Muslim. Bacon. No, brother. Just I will like, say, though, Keen, just don't want it is it. blasphemous that you got a fucking cheese. Okay, pizza. regardless of what I got, Jesus, I, I mean, I, it's funny because I even said, nope, why not get the potato bacon? I, I think it's funny that I said that. I'm not going to cap. The, the potato the bacon is mid. It's not it, mid. It's, it's mid insane slice. that you got a fucking cheese pizza from fucking Pile. Okay. It's insane. Any, if, look, if I'm going to Pie Hole, I just need something quick. I need something that's going to go down the gullet and out the ass. If I go, if I get a pepperoni pizza, that's going down the gullet. It's there's a seven point nine. Coming your ass. No, there's a seven point nine magnitude earthquake inside my stomach, and half of it is coming out of my ass as water, and the other half is coming out of my mouth as vile. So no, no, no. I'm I'm just getting a cheese pizza, man. If I get sick from a cheese pizza, yeah. Put, put me to death by firing squad, but I'll be damned if I let pepperoni pizza beat me another day in a row. I will. Hey, call me crazy. You could do like the combo pizza, maybe something no, with veggies man. on it. It had I'm not like gonna a, lie though, Keaton. I think it was like a little tomato pizza, slice. I think any pizza from Pie Hole would set an earthquake off in mm. your stomach oh, after yeah. eating it and then Thanks. you pissing it out. I felt great Slappets. actually after that slice. It was just the perfect amount of food. You freak. light, fluffy, you know. I never it's feel good fluffy. after eating pie. It's hole. not fluffy. That's it's greasy. greasy as possible. And greasy as possible. And it's also not greasy if you get the cheese. It's like not that much grease. So no, it's, no, it's don't give it credit. Don't give it credit. Don't Let's, give the cheese pizza credit. The cheese pizza deserves pizza. the credit. All you right. Like cheese pizza. Oh, cheese. Oh, cheese pizza. <laughs> wow. Oh, no. No. Naughty America. Nobody. No way. Nobody does it better. <laughs> All right, let's jump into this. Green 18. Red 48. Settle down, settle down. Wide 80. Set hut. Colts at Patriots in Germany? Ah! <laughs> I didn't know I was in Germany. Oh my ah! god! Ah! Oh, and then I got some Schmidt and Schmout. For those who don't know what I'm talking about, in and out. Um, <laughs> it was great. They don't quote me. There it is. Yep. So they. <laughs> Man, let's keep this up for a second. All right, there's a lot going on. Schmidt and out was fucking crazy. That's Dude, just sh- crazy. I was just sh- cringing watching that. Schmidt and out. Same reaction. Hang on, same reaction. Ready? Ready? I went to, you know, Schmidt and Schmelt earlier. For those okay. who don't know, in and out. Just I'm not, I'm not clipping that. That's not going in the intro. <laughs> chat, clip that. Chat, clip it. Clip Who's it. chat? I'm chat, chat bro. Uh, chat, let's get this guy banned. Yeah. Honestly, um, shout out Keaton for the new intro. I think it's mm-hmm. honestly really cool. I love Thanks, it. Sir. I think it Thank gives you. off like a really cool vibe where it's like kind of like a old school Drake and Josh intro vibe. So if y'all yeah. like it, let us know. If yeah. not, we'll go back to the original one. But if not, shout out Keaton I'll, for editing that. And yeah, I'll work on a new one. Think. Awesome. Um, man, what a week of football. Yes, it was. It was week. way more competitive than we thought it was going to be. Yeah, it was. Which is nice. Um, which is nice. Let me go ahead and uh, I'm going to pull up my team real quick. We'll just, we'll jump into mine. Um, hold on. Man, dude, my team, I used to pray for times like Finally. this, dude. Finally. I used to pray <laughs> for times like this, man. Speaking about T Grizzly, did you hear his part six? Yeah, it was pretty that fire. That shit is insane. Sorry. Yeah, it's pretty fire. Um, I'll let you continue. No, I just... Man, my whole team boomed, and I actually like won a game. I scored more than a hundred points today or this weekend, which is great. Um, God, obviously, a sad thing to say. it really is. It really is. You know, the one week I don't play Gino, he goes for twenty four points, which fine, whatever. Tony Pollard. Um, I need to talk about this a little bit. He 
he um, five points. Oh yeah, dude. Oh my god, he's been awful. Sorry, my screen. CD Lamb is taking all of his fucking targets, man. Dude, CD, he, dude, dude this guy's twentieth. He's averaging twelve points a game. He's an RB two at this point. That's fucking dude. Wrong. Okay, he, so dude, from he insane. puts up seventeen points. Then they go into the bye. He goes six and a half points, nine points, five and a half points. Bro, I since just, SF, he's like averaging like ten points. If that. <sighs> Dude, he's he's like lost it. This guy doesn't know how to find a hole. I mean, like, it's awful. And it's not like they didn't win. You know, it's not like they didn't play a great game. Um, dude, they beat the Giants. They won forty nine to seventeen, and he had five points. Tony Pollard That's hasn't. Crazy, I, I need to say, Tony Pollard hasn't scored a touchdown since week one. That's bad. Oh my god, that's yeah, insane, really bro. That's insane. Um, pretty bad. Yeah. Uh That's Kenneth crazy. Walker. Kenneth Walker had a really good game. He wasn't doing anything and then he had like a Seattle wins on the on a game winning field goal, which was great. I was loving that game. Um he had like a 67 yard touchdown to like basically put us in the lead. Um and it was just dude, that guy is so shifty, man. He's really good. And he's he's every bit what we drafted him for. So that was nice getting 20 points. Uh, Debo looked really good. Um, he finally looks healthy. That offense finally looked good. Christian Kirk and I'm 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 on the wrong week. I apologize. Sorry. Um, yeah, Debo gets 15. Christian Kirk gets 14. They got obliterated. Oh, also did good though. Yeah, he played. He played great. He got 21 yeah. points. Like couldn't complain. So you can't um, complain about it. TJ Hawkinson though, man. Like I need to. I, I need to say we'll we'll talk a little bit more about the the Vikings team, but um, ever since Josh Dobbs has come in, T.J. Hawkinson is really starting to find his way. I mean, yeah, he had 13 points last game, but I dude, he looked so good yesterday, Sunday. Dude. I Sunday I keep saying yesterday. Um, so he he was great, carried my whole team, and then David Joku has been solid. Cowboys defense has been solid, and Andrews Carlson actually That's played well. That you're playing two tight ends. I, mean, I don't have a choice. Uh, T. Higgins oh. is still out. And honestly, David Joku has been really good for me. He's averaging yeah. like 10, 17, 12, and 11. Yeah. It's more than T. Higgins was it's averaging. Kind of decent flux. D T. Higgins is going Poopy 4, Higgins. 11, 19, and then like nothing. So whatever. Um, let's jump. Let's jump a little bit into um, – let's go to Zach's team. A little bit. Okay. Um, there it is. All right. There's Zach's team. All right. So two people kind of, you know, stand out. And that's the little midget. That's my quarterback. His first week back. And he had 17 points on a game that I felt like he didn't play too hot. So kind of hyped about that because I've been struggling with finding a quarterback. Uh, Jameer Gibbs is him. He's playing man, really did well. I, man, I'm did so I hit on him, bro, in the beginning of the season. I hated him. I almost traded him for like literally nothing. And I'm glad I didn't because he has been balling the fuck out. Um, oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. I don't know <laughs> where my – dude, I don't know what's going on with my screen lately. My uh, Adam Kamara issue. is averaging like 18 points a game, so that's been solid. Michael Thomas might as well have just stayed near his house after that shit that he did with the car and stabbing it and shit, whatever the fuck he did. He didn't show up and he got injured. So there is karma that comes with things like that. Kind of glad it happened to him just because, you know, you don't do that shit and you kind of just not get away with it. So that was definitely karma for him. Bad on my team. Bad for my team specifically just because I lost by 12. And, you know, Michael Thomas is, is averaging like roughly 11 or 12. So it could have been a little bit closer. Uh, Romeo Dobbs found the end zone, but he didn't really have a productive game. Gerald Everett got injured. Gabe Davis sucks. So do the Bills. The Browns defense might be the best defense in the league. And Nick Folk did me well off the waivers. But look at my fucking uh, my bench right now and how many fucking players I had on bye week, bro. Yeah, I know. Like, look at that, man. That's insane. Like mm -hmm. These last two weeks have been destroying me. And specifically last week, that was tough. Like Tyreek is averaging probably 23 Cooper Cup, I know in the last couple of games has been doing well, but he's probably averaging like 15. Uh, Raheem has been averaging like 15. Jake Elliott's 
a solid 10. Matthew Stafford's been decent, but those are definitely some starters I missed. And I lost again. I'm on a losing streak for the first time in a while, boys. Yeah. I kind of feel like the Patriots right now. Shut up. Well, we're going to jump. <laughs> we're probably going to jump into that right now, Ant. Shall we? <laughs> Not to the Patriots. But now we're 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 gonna we're gonna jump in. We're gonna we're gonna touch up on the Patriots a little bit. And go ahead, talk about your team. uh, Not really much to talk about with my fucking bummy ass fucking team. Um, Joshua Dobbs honestly is the MVP right now. I don't give a fuck that I spent fifty five dollars to get him off the waivers. I don't care. I'm happy. I actually found a fucking quarterback that can get me more than eighteen points every week. Yeah, that's fair. I'm. I don't care. I don't care. Ramondre. No. Just mm, mm. um see it's just so hard hey, to fucking talk be good. Tandem, man. It's just so hard to talk good about any fucking New England Patriot right now. It is so what about Z? difficult. Shut what the fuck mean, up man? about Zeke. No, shut up, shut up about Zeke. It's the one A one B tandem, bro. That fucking Dude. bowling ball piece of shit. Um feed him, feed him. Eating first down, shut the fuck up. Go back to fucking Dallas. Um, oh, we suck and we don't even want you. Um, at least I don't. I just don't like Zeke. Um, okay, if I'm going to go more realistic with it, um, Ramondre, he, I'm honestly shocked you put up double-digit points um, for how bad the fucking Patriots played. Um, I mean, he pretty much hit his projection. I'm not really going to go too much deep into that right now. Dude, Jones under projecting again. He had a really, really good week last week. I'll give him that. But who, 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 who? Aaron Jones. Oh, okay, I'm waiting um, for you to get to this next player. Do we want <laughs> to hear him get to this next player? You know what's actually insane about this? I'll let I'll let Ant continue, but I need to say something. Go ahead, go ahead, just go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. I need Zach. to hear this. I need to hear this. No, 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 no. Go for it. Sorry, I want to hear your opinion first. Devontae Adams is not being utilized. Sorry, he's not. He's wait. His talent is going to shit. Arguably one of the best. Not one of the best. Yeah, no, one of the best wide receivers in the NFL. His talent is absolutely getting wasted in Las Vegas right now. It is horrible. It is criminal. I mean, it's the Raiders criminal, but I mean, it, but criminal in a different way. Like, it's horrible. Devontae Adams okay. has okay. been getting. Devontae play. Adams is. No. You got that now. Thank you. Um, yeah. Devontae Adams has been getting, I think, ten or less points for the past four weeks. Click on his uh, name, please. Uh, he hasn't gotten ten. Yeah, you're right. No, he got twelve points. He got 14 points. Look at that, wow. dude. He popped off. He finished dude, over his projection. And he put he finished over his projection. The fact that Devontae Adams' projection is 13 points. Thank you. Five. That's literally what I was about to say. Do you know how crazy that is? For Devontae Adams, a top three wide receiver, when utilized in the NFL, to have a projection of 13.5. And he went over it for the first time in four weeks. That's actually insane. No, I think it's more than that. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. Actually, the no, first one in six four. weeks. It's okay, but if this. but if you take out if you take out week actually two seven the and week three, 12, 15, 12, 14. You know what's insane too? Go, scroll up. He's what wide receiver fourteen? How is he wide receiver fourteen? Because he has because he got a he got a forty two bomb. That's insane, bro. Yeah, where's That's that true. Devontae? Non-existent. Where's they that Raiders team? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but it's horrible. That was really my first round pick. You know what? Like Keaton, I gave you kind of, I gave you a little bit of shit because you picked Tony Pollard first round, first pick, and I'm in that same boat now with Devontae. Yeah, Adams. I'm so like, you guys are in the same boat. And I'll trade you Cam Akers for Devontae Adams. Deal. Cool. Good trade. Yep. Good we'll trade. We'll do the Yeah. Um, my first trade. Actually, you guys should do that. You guys should do that and see how the league fucking reacts. <laughs> That would be so upset. Stewie might quit on the fucking spot. Stewie, dude, Stewie would actually, Stewie might show up to John's house 
with a loaded weapon. So he's like, this is fair. Guys, this is, is not fair. <laughs> I'm a poli sci major. I get it. It makes sense to me. Dude. Just hold Stewie doesn't – yeah. Go off. Stewie doesn't watch our podcast, so no, no good, man. Yeah. Well, Jesus. Man. Um, let's. I want. I, I, I want. Tight end, man. I need to hear about Janu Smith real quick. Janu Smith, holy moly, bud! Against Arizona's defense, how? Why? When? Why? He scored twenty points last <laughs> week. I'm pissed. I fucking hate my fantasy team. I fucking hate it. Hey, what it's about the Raiders so- though? Yeah, Raiders defense, six points. That's one better than five. Yeah, my kicker. And he Tyler was top, Bass, he went crazy. Mike, Tyler Bass <laughs> was top two kicker in the first three weeks of the fucking league in the season. Sorry. That now two he's, oh, he's top, my God. He's 28. What a huge prop. How many points is he averaging? Tyler Bass, but the B is silent. Let's see. Averaging six points. That's two field goals. Oh my god! Oh my god! Ant two zero four six four two <laughs> oh two. Oh my god! Two. Last, but the B is silent. It's crazy. T- oh, Ant, man. that's crazy. We'll talk about this later, but the Bills. Yeah. I need to. I need to rant. Them boys just, are in trouble. I would like to rant about Josh Allen later because I feel like it is deserved, and I was the you first. You get to rant all you want on Josh Allen. I was yeah, the first yeah. to be the biggest the D1 train, hater. I'm gonna hop I was on the first now. hater. I will. I will do it. Yep. Zach will back me up. I was the first on I'm the hater on train. train. Um, um, and nothing anything re- else? Nothing much, dude. People are just on buys, or people are fucking injured, and yeah, <laughs> yeah. We'll just we'll move. Picked up a few that. guys who could <laughs> potentially do well, you know, because of teams they were playing against, going up against in the future. But then I saw they did bad, so I said mm, no. So they're gone. At, they're gone this week. So it's crazy. Josh Dobbs had a higher team. projection against the better defense than Jordan Love had against Pittsburgh. Jordan Love is poopy. We, you know, this guy sucks. Yeah, Eric, sucks Eric Moody, it's hard to trust Jordan Love in fantasy. He sucks. It's hard to trust him in anything. It's hard to fucking watch him, honestly. I'm like, dude, oh, man. You He's know not a good... really, really hard to watch? You know who else is really, really fucking hard to watch? Not Mac Jones. Mac Jones, Mac Jones is, him? like, one of the greatest to ever do it. Oh, totally, mm-hmm. man. Absolutely. Right, right. No, Mac Jones fucking sucks. So does Bailey Zappi. Fuck them both. I don't know, man. I mean... Yeah, but you win games with Bailey Zappi. Yes, you do. Bailey Zappi, no. Bailey Clearly Zappi not. is the skinny <laughs> Sam Howell. We don't Stop. win games with Bailey Zappi. Take. We don't. We don't. That might be the worst take I've ever on this fucking channel. You can win. You could win games with Mac Jones. You just have to not have Bill Belichick as your head coach. We're gonna get into that later. Yeah, well, and a great O line and. Two top ten wide receivers and maybe the best running back, and then maybe you might succeed. Um, okay, yes. I, I, yeah, you guys, the Niners have all that. They still can't win a Super Bowl though. So, whoa, I need whoa, to. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, 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 that was a low blow. That was a low blow. <laughs> sorry, man. Oh, I might have mentioned anything about Super Bowls. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. I just got way too much shit with the Patriots, even when they were winning. I'm sorry. It's not I okay. Know. I said it a few minutes ago. I, I need to, you know, I have it in my notes that I wanted to talk a little bit about CJ Stroud, and I will. Um, I really want to quickly just say, just say, Sam Howell is a very good quarterback. Uh, yes, I need, he is. I need to preface that guy is a gunslinger. He's going to throw a lot of interceptions. He is basically Josh Allen. Um, speaking of, I need to say just something real quick. Uh, Two years ago, Josh Allen just was like playing great ball. And then he had like three bad games in a row. And I told Zach, and Zach will back me up. I said, I don't think this guy's clutch. I don't. I don't think he's good. I think he's inconsistent. I've said this all year. I have the receipts. Every he's been saying this since the beginning. Honestly. Every week, dude, this guy comes in. He does things where you're like, oh, my God, like. This guy could be the greatest to ever do it. And then he throws two interceptions, has another fumble. He ha- he leads the league in interceptions. And, and you know what? In the last six years, he does. 
I, the last I gotta, six years since 2018, or I guess five years. Excuse me. I gotta say, people people say that Dak Prescott is like an inaccurate quarterback and he throws a lot of interceptions and whatever. I don't think people put that that like pet put Josh Allen on that pedestal. They don't. No. They treat him like he is a god amongst men. And don't get me wrong. Yeah, the guy's got a cannon. He's a great looking dude. He's good for marketing. He sucks at football sometimes. They lost to the Broncos, dude. And people he has are going to say one career interceptions. Thank you already since 2018. People are going to say that, and I'm going to make this quick. I'll wrap up in a minute. People are going to say that <clears throat> the game was lost last night to Demar Hamlin because he was the 12th man on the field and whatever. Or, uh, you know, that was a crazy P.I. that shouldn't have happened. Like, Russell clearly underthrew it on purpose, and that, just, that shouldn't count. If Josh Allen doesn't have three turnover, turnovers – They win by 21. Game, they win by 55 million, dude. It's the Broncos. Yeah, they just beat the Chiefs. It's the Broncos, man. And they, they beat be the Chiefs just... because they turn the ball over as well. Patrick yes. Mahomes that game, I think, had two or three interceptions as well. Call me what you want. But Vance Joseph is putting on a fantastic defense yep. for the Denver Broncos. They are looking legitimate. But I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this. There is no reason that the Bills team with this offensive weaponry should be two, should be five and five. 500. That's actually fucking wild. The Bills and are 500. They are five. They're not going to be in our honorable mention. No. The, I'm, I'm taking them out, man. You lose, the, you lose to the meme team. The you lose to the meme team. team. The meme team, that's meme it. team is crazy. Um, so I, I, I don't know if if I hear another like, oh, it's not Josh Allen's fault. I might, I might put a bullet in my phone on Twitter. Yeah, no, it is his fault. It, it's it is all, his fault. It's fault. I mean, yeah. Brian Dable literally and saved they, his. They fired the offensive coordinator today. I'm like, that's not going to help Josh Allen not throwing not interceptions. Problem. It's not the problem. Yeah. And you know what? If like, you're going to say it's that a quarterback thing, like if I you're going to, and and real quick, if you're going to say that Brian Dable is the reason that Josh Allen was good, then you have a Josh Allen problem. Exactly. You don't have you, – you can find offensive coordinators that are good. You have a Josh Allen problem then. So, regardless, I'm – you know, I, I need to bad. rant because I've been just – should not be this months. bad. But, yeah. uh, I also said it last week. This from the beginning. I also said this last week. I think – I was the only one. I think the Bengals – or the, the Bills were going to lose to the Browns. Broncos. Broncos. Oh, sorry, yeah, yeah. sorry, 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 yeah, yeah. I Another orange team. Too many orange teams. Yeah. So whatever. No, I'm that, rant they over. Can't. I did. I was like, I feel like it's a prototypical trap game, and I have no faith in the Bills. Yeah. So no, that's fair. Um, well, that's my rant. Um, you know, Zach, I you know, I see you have uh, Chase Young, you know. Yeah. I, I want you to talk uh, a little bit. We haven't focused on that. Talk a little bit about the Niners, man. Yeah, dude. That was a lot of fun to watch. Um Ethan and Stewie came up for everyone that knows Ethan and Stewie. If you don't, they've been our best friends since junior year of high school, maybe even like sophomore year. And I'm speaking about myself a little bit before for Ant, but they've been our good friends for a while now. And they're Niner fans as well. And we got to watch the game. Um, I mean, that was an explosion of defense, man. I don't know if it's Wilkes being on the sideline. I don't know if it's Chase Young. I don't know if it's the will to actually want to be a decent fucking defense when you're you know, a $500 million defense, to say the least. Um, not really, but we are probably the highest paid defense in the league playing like a it's up there. fucking middle of the pack defense when we shouldn't be. Anyways, with that being said, Chase Young was on my list because I really do think he opened some things up. And I don't know if it's more of a mental thing. I kind of told this to my dad. I was like, I think there's two like mental things going on here. One I think Kyle Shanahan opened up the playbook because he had Trent Williams back and Debo back. And I definitely think that's a mental thing. Like, I don't think Kyle Shanahan goes into the week and be, and he's like, oh, like, I can't throw this into the play. I can't throw this into the, the game plan because I don't have Debo. But when he knows he has Debo, he knows he can run different plays because Debo actually opens up the offense. Trent Williams yesterday, excuse me, Sunday, opened up the offense completely. I don't know if you guys saw this, but there is two – video specifically for number 31 um, on the Jags. And he was running away from Trent Williams, literally running away, like as if like he was scared of Trent Williams. And he ran to the sideline, Trent like pushed him twice, twice in a game. So the people saying he doesn't have a big effect, he definitely does. So does Debo. And 
obviously they have a physical effect, but I think again, it's like a mental thing for Kyle Shanahan. Like he knows, oh, I trust Trevor Williams, he can do this. Oh, I trust Debo, he can do this and open up the offense. And we saw that obviously with yeah. the score. Um, it was an asshole thing. But on defense, Nick Bosa finally fucking woke up. Uh, one and a half sacks, and the half sack that he had was actually with Chase Young, which I thought was fucking sick. That was the uh, force fumble, right? Yeah, it was a force fumble, huge moment in the game. They went back to the sidelines, and they were mic'd up. And uh, I forget which coach it was, but one of our coaches, he walks over, and he's like, just like college ball, huh? Nick stealing your sacks. I was like, dude, that's actually so crazy to think that they were on a team together. That's insane, Didn't dude. win that shit. Cool. Ohio State clearly has an issue there but we'll save that for a different podcast as well or maybe some of the boys talking about college football um but yeah i thought that was really cool so i was really happy about that and being able to watch <clears throat> the niners game with uh ethan and stewie and actually having a good outcome for the first time in four weeks yeah um and then kind of moving into two other players i saw that were kind of interesting Deshaun Watson actually, you know, came out and was clutch, which was the first time I've seen in a while. And when you look at his stats, he only had a 58.8% completion rate, 213 yards, a touchdown, an interception, and 74.8 QBR, which, again, you look at that, it's not very good. But I think they were down – were they down 21 or were they down 14 or 17 going into the It was like 17. They were, down, they were down double digits going into the fourth. And he had a pick six? Digits. Yes, he had a pick six and then came back and led them to the victory against our number one team and our power ranking. So mm -hmm. that was something that I thought was really cool. And the Browns are scary, man. If Deshaun can play, you know, decent, I'm not going to say he played great, but if he can play decent, they could, you know, at least make a run in the AFC. I don't think they're Super Bowl contenders, and I don't know if they'll win their division, but I think that they could be a sleeper team for sure. And I've been saying that for a while, specifically yeah. with their defense. Um and then the last one that I wanted to talk about was Tyson Bajan. And, I mean, dude, I don't necessarily, you know, want to dog on the dude or say anything, but this man has, like, cookie-cutter stats for the last, like, four games. He does. Like, cookie-cutter. Um, he started against the Vikings, correct? Maybe he didn't start. I think he actually came in because their quarterback, Justin Fields, got injured. But – Let's just say he started his first game against the Raiders. Since then, he's had a completion rate of 72, which was good against the Raiders. It's kind of like a Cinderella story thing where everyone's like, oh, he could be better than what we thought he was. He's a D2 football player. So he was going up against dudes that most likely aren't in his position right now. Let's just be honest. But yeah, then he played the Chargers, the Saints, and the Panthers and had a 67.6% .6 completion rate, 60 and 60. And then he threw for... 230, 220, and 160 yards, zero touchdowns, two touchdowns, zero touchdowns, and then two interceptions, three interceptions, zero interceptions, with roughly a 66 QBR. Uh, on the season, though, he he has a touchdown to interception rate of three touchdowns to six interceptions and a 71.4 complete or excuse me, QBR. Um so just looking at a quarterback, honestly, in that you know situation, I'm not expecting him to do much, but he clearly is a D2 player. I don't mean yeah. any disrespect to him, but it's pretty obvious now. And I don't know. If I'm the fucking Bears, man, I'm starting over literally with everything. Like, there's not one player on that team that I think is safe. Like, genuinely not safe. Yeah. Like, even Justin Fields. I'm getting rid of Fields. And I don't blame Tyson. He's in a really tough situation. But, you know, if you get your opportunity, like Tom Brady said, you got to make the most of it. I mean, he was – not to say he was in a similar situation. He wasn't D2. He went to Michigan. But, I mean, he was, you know, one of the last picks in the draft. He made his, yeah. he made his like, almost instantly, you know. Tyson's I, not necessarily doing that. And yeah. I think it's just been I interesting. Mean, He's D2, which is crazy, you know. Like, it's like the Cinderella story that you want to actually work. It's kind of like uh, Brock Purdy. Like, not to yeah. say Brock Purdy didn't or, win D1 ball, but, yeah. you know. It's, it's just like that underdog. Right. Yeah. And we're all rooting for him, but I think it's pretty clear that they're a horrible team, and I don't know if uh, – what happened? No, no, you're good. I think it was the – we're going to pause. Your 36, 44. No, okay. Um, hold on. Let me write this down. Okay. You can keep going. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, I just think that team's horrible, and I'm not going to completely blame him, but he clearly looks like a D2 quarterback, and – 
that kind of sucks for them just because yeah. they don't have a quarterback now and maybe they'll start winning. digging for Caleb Williams. But yeah, I don't think they can at this point because they are winning. But I don't know. The Bears are sorry. I would be a very, very sad fan if I was a Bears fan. But yeah. those were my three players that I wanted to talk about. Nice. Um, Ant, you've got the you've got the Patriots on your on the top of your list, and this is something I've been. Colts at Patriots in Germany. Ah, I'm, I was I was waiting for this, man. I re, I was really waiting for this. Why were you waiting for this, Keaton? Um, because I know I know what you're gonna say. Mm-hmm. Or let, let me rephrase. I think I know what you're gonna say. But whatever I think I know, I think it's gonna be amplified a hundred times. So maybe you just won't say anything. Anthony it might just shut up. Let speak for itself. Hold on. Ant, <laughs> ring a hold ding on. ding. Ant, what are your thoughts on uh what are your thoughts on the Patriots this year? Oh, <laughs> oh my god, bro. Oh hell, hell no, man. Mac hell Jones steps no. back. Get your ass on, my ass. <laughs> um, yeah. Um um <laughs> He's speechless. He's speechless. Oh, speechless. <laughs> He's speechless by Dan and speechless. Shay. Um, oh, God. Mike's coming up closer right now. Um, All right. Where School's do I start? <laughs> School is in session. Where do I start with this bummy team right now? Our starters were two and seven. It's pretty fucking bad. I didn't think it would be worse than... Two and eight, right? Or did you guys have a bye week? We had a bye week. We had a bye week. Okay. So, yeah, we're two and seven. At least we're not as bad as the Panthers. whoop de fucking do that's, that's an accomplishment, right? Um, we, 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 we suck. We, we suck. <laughs> Get rid of Belichick. Get rid of Mac Jones. Get rid of our entire fucking receiving core. You guys are two and eight. That's what I thought. Two and seven, two and eight. It doesn't fucking matter. We still fucking suck. Yeah, two We've wins. only won Let's two games. Yeah. Exactly. We won two yeah. games. Um, yeah, I will say that is a dope Patriots jersey, though. <laughs> Bring that fun shit. I mean, uh, this uh, New England. Uh, yeah. You mean New England New Bruins. England, Boston, the New England Boston <laughs> Bruins. Dude, you literally yeah. just paused in the universe for a second. Can I <laughs> hold on, Ant? Before before you continue, I, I I need you to react to this. I saw this play and I go, I need Anthony to. Well, I didn't watch the game because I was hung over. Live reaction. Okay. Let's go. You haven't seen any clips from the game. I only saw. I saw. I think Mac Jones's interception. That's okay, it. this is the one. This is the play. This is okay. Yeah, let me go over this Dude. fucking play. Okay, okay, really we're, we're, slow it down and really and pause it like when I say so, all right? So look. Play action. You got the, you got the play action, you got the fake there to Zeke. Okay, here's the throw, okay? Before we go to the throw, actually skip it up all the way to like where um, Hunter Henry's at. Like, just skip oh, yeah, the yeah. throw. Just go where Hunter Henry's yeah, at, right? Sorry. No, you're good, you're good. Keep. Okay. Oh, Mike Gusecki. Mike Gusecki, whatever. Gusecki is up there. I thought it was Hunter Henry. Um... Let's take a look. Okay, first off, where, where where's Kaseki? Circle him. He's right here. Okay. Where where's the where's their secondary at? Right here. There? And then where's the ball? There there's Kaseki. Oh. So here. my now what's we're gonna watch this whole thing. Dude, this is really why funny. are you lobbing the ball so fucking soft? Dude, that's why Gusecki. are you doing that? He can't he threw, even believe it. He threw 12 yards. Gusecki can't even believe it. No, he can't. I can't believe it. Okay, steps back. Look at look at his footing. Look at his footing. He doesn't even step. He's he's like throwing off his back foot while going backwards. He's he's not even. He he took a step back throw. (laughs) This is a basketball, you moron. Look at this. He like, dude. Who are you throwing? Oh my god, this one actually bothers me. It bo- it's bothering Wait. me so much, Zach. It That's why I'm bothering. So much. Who is he throwing to? Like it's not even close. No, like, he's, he's not. six yards off. 
Six how yards. Many, how many yards did he throw on that? Twelve. Uh, it was probably like oh a grand. God. It was like a net of sixteen yards, probably. You know what's crazy? Put any one of us. Yeah, seventeen yards out there right now, and we crazy. could make that throw easy. Dude, Cody oh, Boyson could throw that. Cody Dude. Boyson could make the fucking throw. Actually, no, no, John Bueno couldn't. You're right, John can't. No, um, he's yeah. Sorry, John. John um, would be like. Oh, oh, okay. Hold on. I have another one. Okay. Hold on. I have another one. Are you pulling the Bailey Zappi interception? No, 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 no. Hold on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is, um, this for is the audio content. listener. For the uh, audio listener, uh, I am playing clips of Mac Jones's fumble, like fails for Anthony, who has yet to see him. Uh, and I'm mm-hmm. trying to get a live reaction. What is happening? Oh, my God. What? What? <laughs> Ant has not it's seen like this play yet. With the fucking football. Hey, that was almost a catch for Ramondre. That's an extra point if you think about it. What is that? <laughs> what is that? What? What are you doing? He did the granny shot. What do you mean, bro? Yeah, dude. God, he was he just did... paying homage to Tom Brady. What is he what? doing? Why did you talk to him? Oh my God. Okay. 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 Oh my god. Oh, that just gave me a fucking headache. Oh, no, I know you don't want the water. Um, <laughs> can you can you go back to one of those clips? I just deleted. I just got rid of them. Oh. <laughs> Oh. oh no 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 no! Oh, Jones, Mac Bailey, Sappy, you gotta practice more. It's my dream to be a commentator, by the way. Um, oh, oh shit, bro. Mac Jones, hot potato. <laughs> Ramondre Stevenson fumble. Oh, you have to practice to be that bad. Oh, oh. oh. Um, so, let me go into. Yeah. No, let me quickly go into it. Yeah. So the anger is out now. That's fine. Um, it's probably better that way. Um, <laughs> I would hope so, bud. It's really not. Mac Jones needs to go. I've said it now for how many weeks ago? Four now? Yeah, we have four or five. I feel like it's been like six that. weeks, six or seven. Probably something like that. It's been, been a few weeks, quite a few weeks it's now. Time. I've been saying Mac Jones needs to go. It needs to happen. We need some sort of change, and clearly this offense right now is just not cutting it. And I've said it before. I'll say it again real quick. It's not all just Mac Jones. It is also like we have no offense, right? I'm not blaming it all on Mac Jones. I'm, I'm not going to do that. Like, if I'm going to be 100%, 100% fair with that. It's not all just Mac Jones. We literally have no offense. No one. Like, like realistically, like, not a lot of, like, superstar name. There's, like, no really superstar names on our team. I mean, you have TikTok stars, but no superstars, right? There's a difference. You don't want that. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah. That's insane. Corbett, dude, what Corbett. do you mean? You have Zeke. You have Zeke. You literally have Zeke, dude. You guys aren't letting him eat. We, we I don't want to. He see probably him. needs. He's starving. To eat. He's starving. He probably needs to eat less, honestly. <laughs> I meant the next Eddie Lacy. <laughs> yeah, they that man is the next Eddie case. Lacey. though. Do with the Patriots team. Bro's got to start eating celery and apples. Dude Zeke is the next case. So off season with the Patriots, dude. Um, yeah. So, but that needs to happen. Bailey Zappi, I just I don't fucking understand who the fuck he was throwing to in that last interception. For those who, who the, for those who did not watch the game, the last uh, Mac Belichick benched uh, Mac Jones for the final drive. They put in Bailey Zappi, and to end the game, it, so for a potential win, actually, he put in Bailey Zappi for that last drive, um, and Bailey Zappi just mm, doink right into the. Um, uh, I think it was one of the probably the safety or something like that. I don't really know, but. Um, yeah, basically, just threw it right to um, who the fuck are they? The Colts, they he threw it straight to the fucking Colts. Um, defense, Not defenseman. Um, 
It wasn't good. So I don't know what the fuck that was either. So it's confirmed. Both of our quarterbacks suck. Fuck Mac Jones. Fuck Bailey Zappi. Bill Belichick. Um, two things. Like I said, one, remove so much power from him. Keep him, but remove a majority of his fucking power. Or two, the one I really, really want, get rid of him. Get rid of Belichick. It's over. It's done. The dynasty's over. We're shit. I'm accepting it. We're shit. It's not fun. I feel you now, Raider fans. Yeah, but- you are shit. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> Say it again um, for me. I'm almost there. <laughs> Say it again. Um, <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm so shit. I'm so shit. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. But, um, oh, no, like, no. It, oh, oh, no, no, no. Oh, oh no, no, no. Um, <laughs> the face is down, too. <laughs> So, um, oh no, no, no. So, Belichick needs to go, I think, personally. Um, and then honestly, at that point, just uh, I don't, I don't know. It there just needs to be changes. And right now, it's just a really, really shit season. I mean, we're gonna tank, tank for Caleb. We're doing it. Um, and probably won't happen though. Um, I, I don't know. Um, I still don't know if it'll happen, but. There was a rumor, and I'm gonna we're gonna end this topic because I don't like talking about the Patriots. You know, Boston is one is relying on one team to save them all, and that's the Bruins. So let's fucking go. Um, Not very you know, Bru- reliable. Hey, Bru- okay, last year was shit, but hey, Bruins beat the Sabers. You know, five two. Not saying much. Sabers suck, but anyways, um, there was a rumor saying that Bill Bell is just a rumor right now. Not confirmed. Not not confirmed at all yet. But it's a big rumor going around right now that Belichick is going to be leaving. Is going to be parting ways with New England at the end of this season. I've heard that as well. Be good. So, I'll be good. That's it for me. I'm done. I'm dropping the mic. Fuck the Patriots. I'm over it right now. Nice. We suck. Fuck. Fuck. We suck. Um, This is what I. This is what we get though for winning so many years. Though we we need this. We need this. There's a balance to it. There is always a balance. Yin and yang. Yeah. Um, oh, sick. I mean, a great week of football. Uh, I think for me, I also was going to just talk. I was going to make this like a minute. Um, CJ Stroud is really good. Uh, he went. He's so good. I mean, they don't get me wrong. Like he kind of had a, he had an okay day, but, uh, and Devin Singletary played great, but man, time and time again, this guy is called upon to lead his team to victory. When it matters, he gets it done. When it matters, he gets it done. And and regardless of what the score was before they struggled and almost lost that game, um, he has gotten it done. And there's a resiliency about him that I have not seen with any other rookie quarterbacks in the last few years. And, dude, if this is his rookie year, ugh, the league is in, like the league is going to be in shambles. This guy could potentially be like the next thing. Uh, what he has five interceptions on like 17 touchdowns. Um, he's, he's just playing really well. Uh, I think in my opinion right now, he is a top five quarterback in the NFL. And I'm talking about like consistent, not I mean, just this year. He's making Noah Brown look like an all pro wide receiver the last three weeks. It's actually yeah. kind of insane. Yeah, he's he been went, making some throws too where I'm like. He's making like insane throws. Patrick Mahomes-esque. So. That's Joe Burrow-esque. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump into our power rankings because I feel like we might have a lot of changes this week. A lot. I hey, need. Wait, you guys can still hear me, right? Yeah. Yes. Be great. Okay, my AirPods just done, so I want to make sure oh. nothing fucked up. I can hear you. I need to. I, I do need to say one okay, thing. This is going to get real interesting. To every Tuesday at work, I look at power rankings, see where Seattle's at, see like the big discrepancies. I want to say, uh, I think it was CBS Sports has the Lions at three, and they dropped the Ravens all the way down to nine. No. Dude. No. Dude. No. I thought it was the worst. Can I go can ahead? Talk about something? Let me, yeah. let me. Let me... So there's a rumor going around right now. You know how they always say, you know, it's scripted, scripted, right? I just thought this would be a funny, quick little story real quick. While since we're talking about power rankings, number one team, right? Who basically like who are Super Bowl contenders, right? Who will play each other, right? Mm -hmm. I've seen this. 
every single year the Super Bowl colors are different. And each each year it's color coordinated for who's playing who in the Super Bowl. Okay. On right now and this year's it's purple and it's red. Um, and I saw a thing where it could be Niners and Ravens. Niners, Ravens, Chiefs. And this has been a thing now for the past Vikings. five years or six years or so. Like Those would be the only two combos, though. Hmm. Could that be the only two combo? Could that be the I only combo? So. No, no, it would be Chiefs and Vikings, Niners, Ravens. Those Teams in last two Super Bowls had colors that match logo. Ranking yeah, likeliest like 2024 year. matchup. Yeah. Yes. Niners, Ravens, Vikings, Chiefs, Falcons versus Ravens. Okay. Now I oh, know that. Oh, yeah. I guess that could work too. Yeah. That ain't um, yeah, the Falcons aren't making that. So, no, they're not. So, but I just thought, I just thought that was kind of funny. I just thought that was kind of funny. That is actually insane. That is pretty cool. That it is, is crazy. Coincidence. Um, that happens sure, three but... years in a row, bro. That's a big coincidence. Yeah. I like that as well. Uh, all right, audio time, it, but... audio listener time. Uh, we are going to start our power rankings. Um, I've put Chiefs at one, Eagles at two. I'm putting Eagles at two, and here's where it becomes a little difficult. Uh, Lions are the yeah. only other team with less than three losses. Um, I don't know if I feel comfortable putting them in the top three, but then again, Who else two teams. There? There's but two it, teams that are the, that are arguably for the top three off the top of my head right now. Anthony, go ahead. That is the San Francisco 49ers. Okay. Put them at four for now. And honestly, I don't give a shit that they lost to the Browns. It's the Ravens. I'm sorry. Okay. I definitely sorry. think you should throw the Lions in there as well. Here's what I want to do with the Lions. But I want to put them here. And no way, really looking at it, though, I'm telling you, they're just their their defense has not been getting it done lately. I, not it if we're is making a, a power bizarre. ranking list, as in like it's week. What is it? Week week ten, 10 going you know into week, week nine, going into week ten. Yeah. Now, if it was like something where it's like, okay, we're predicting our Super Bowl contenders or who we think would be the best ten teams that would be the most competitive to make it to the Super Bowl, then maybe. But the Lions, like you said, have two losses. The Ravens just fucking lost the Browns in a bad loss. The Niners have just, you know, came back from a three loss in a row type of deal. Like, it's not something where it's like, okay, the Niners have been playing consistent. The Ravens have been playing consistent. The fucking Lions, if anyone has been playing consistent out of those. But but then the Ravens get obliterated or the, the Ravens obliterate the Lions. So it's really like interchangeable. I think. What I and the Ravens only week. lost by how many points? Like, like when the it, Browns are good, five? man. The Browns are like to thirty. Well, the it was thirty three to thirty one. No, they, so they, they got a great defense. Well, here, here's my like, that has to make you guys feel worried about talking about a team that's the third no. best in the league. Like, they no, can't because, close games. No, not really. Really. I mean, we did the same. We did the same thing with the Niners, but but after their third loss, we said, nah, no, now they're really down. Like, but here's the thing: the Niners that was three in a row. But the Niners was three in a row. The Ravens have scored like 80 points and allowed whatever 15 points, 20 points, whatever it was in their two games going into the Bengals. Like they, their offense is insane. Their defense for two weeks against two really good teams is really good. They just honestly kind of struggled. Lamar Jackson offensively kind of struggled in the end of that game. Uh, I just they play down to their opponents too. They do, they that do, shit but really pisses me but off. But it's also a divisional game. Like I think that has to basically take into account. Yeah. What I would like to do is this. I want to go here. I think the Niners struggled for three straight weeks. I am curious to see what they're gonna do, not this week, but the week after against Seattle. But I do think that it, as long as that defense plays like it did, Chase Young looks every bit the part that he's supposed to. Um, they should be the third best team in the league. Yeah, granted, the Lions only have two losses, but they almost lost to the Chargers and they got obliterated the week before against the Ravens. Or I don't two think weeks, that's a bad idea. Two weeks. I'm just saying, if we're making power rankings based off of week 10 going into week 11, 
you should probably base it off of, you know, how how teams have played in that past week and how they've been playing recently. If oh, I'm going off that, like no. I'm, if we're going to do that, then the Lions, I feel like, would be third, and then the I, Niners I and the Ravens would be a flip of a coin. However, how, the Niners how, just destroyed the Jags, who yeah. was number four, which I get. I think that makes sense. The Ravens lost the to a good, go down. a good Browns team. The Ravens lost to a good Browns team, but they choked that game, and the Lions won and have consistently won. They're what nine and two now. So, I don't know. It's hard. I think a power ranking, what I'm trying to say is a power ranking is really difficult. If we're ranking these teams based off of just I'm week going 10, like, no, no, I'm just going week, off like season. Yeah. And I'm just saying that based off of like what we're kind of talking about here without people seeing like kind of what we're doing. If you're just listening, power rankings, I feel like, and I've said this in the past, are kind of difficult because it's like these teams played each other. I would put my house on the Niners being the Lions. Yeah. Like exactly. genuinely, I would. And I, I think the I Lions think would case. lose to the Ravens again. Yes, I think they would as well. Do I think the Lions would lose to all four of the teams that are above them? Yes, I do. And if that was the case and we were betting on just playoff performance and what we thought was going to happen, then the week prior wouldn't matter. And so sure. that's like the only argument that I'm making. The Lions sure. won. They've continued to win against decent teams. They haven't looked great. The Niners that's... just blew out the Jags. So I think it's kind of a flip of a coin between those three teams. I'm fine with the that's list fair. how it that's is. Fair. No, no, no. I like the Niners at three. But yeah, I think the Lions could be at yeah. three. Putting the Lions at three is like kind of worrisome because it's like I don't see them being the third I best just, team. Once I just all said and done. I just don't know if their season has been like their schedule has been decently tough. Right. Like it's been moderate. But when you're comparing it to these four teams, the strength of schedule has to play into yeah. effect. Granted, they have two losses. Like they're playing great football, but they barely beat the Chargers. They don't really score great against the Raiders. They get obliterated by the Ravens. Like, yeah, two losses, but it really could be worse. And it hasn't looked like, That's you fair. know, they don't really they capitalize play down on the to Lions. their fucking opponents too. Sometimes, yeah, occasionally, yeah, they Which do. It's kind of crazy. I felt like um, the Lions kind of got past that, and the yeah. last three weeks have not shown that. And the Ravens, I thought for sure, got past that after blowing you guys out. I was like, oh yeah, they're for sure past that. Then they choke a seventeen point. I think it was a seventeen whatever point was. lead, whatever, whatever it, was, it was in the fourth yeah. quarter. To Deshaun Watson, it's like, dude, like play your best football, you know. Not that's what scares me. The Ravens not being able to close against a Kansas City team. We've seen that with the Niners in a Super Bowl. That's not a fucking recipe for success. But yeah, I like the top five that we have. All right. Uh this one's gonna be a little contested. Um Jags only have three losses, they get obliterated. Uh Browns dude, who lost dude. to Seattle beat the Ravens, who got who smoked Seattle. I think because of Seattle's kind of okay win, I would like to put them at nine. Oh, I thought you were going to put them at six. I was like, no, oh. absolutely not. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I don't think that defense is playing well. No. Um, we also have to think about the Bengals, but the Bengals took another loss. Um, no, I but- think Miami should definitely be there too. The only other team that I could think of other than Miami – probably be actually there's two would be dallas and the texans oh my god we don't have dallas maybe, up here maybe the texans should be an honorable mention just because it is still a little bit early but i think they could slip up we don't have dallas on this list man i just realized i don't know so they're now I with think... josh dobbs and plus you now have Justin jefferson oh shit Justin yes you're back. right too and hey, i think i think vikings because point. they have four losses are staying in honorable mention I don't know, man. I think the Texans could at least be first in the honorable mention slot, if not move up a little bit. I don't think they slip down. There's no way, right? They've had so, a great fucking win. I don't remember where we put them last time, but okay. I think so they then, should definitely be there. So then I feel like these three teams could be yeah, interchangeable. Yeah. yeah. Like this team just took a bad loss. I think the Browns are slightly better, but the Browns lose to Seattle. Dolphins haven't beaten a team over 500 this year. So if we're, if we're basing it on that, I don't know if they're really all that great. Um, I'm sorry. Dolphins beat the Seahawks, though. If you're going to put Seahawks at 10. Like, I don't know. The Dolphins will be ahead of them. Uh, okay. Dolphins are going to be ahead of them. I just don't know if okay. the Dolphins were to were like, but they're. Right I thought you were saying. I thought you were saying it for some reason. My head, my head, my brain was processing as like you like, thought I was going to move do that. Like no. it was either the Miami was going to come off or you're going to put Miami at 10. And I'm like, hold up. Wait a minute though. No, like, no, 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 not yet. Um, me personally, I think I know how I'd rank this. 
Okay, go ahead, I Zach. Think, I think I would go Browns, Dolphins, Jags. And not to say that the Jags are frauds, but I think that their schedule has definitely played a role in how well they've done. They have two wins in Europe, and they stayed there for two weeks against teams that were jet-lagged. Uh, they have more wins in Europe than they do at home, and they just got blown out by a Niners team that was struggling. I'll put it in quotes, struggling, because we were injured as well. But they were struggling. They lost three in a row, like I said earlier. That was a bad loss for the Jacks, like really bad. Trevor Lawrence looked like dog shit, and I just don't trust them, like in general. I don't know. Miami, I don't trust either. Honestly, out of the three teams that we just saw, I think I would trust the Browns the most just because of that defense. Yeah. It's funny that the Browns are technically third in their division, uh, considering that the Steelers yeah, have a better conf kind of conference record. Um, well, I definitely I, think that the you, Bengals should be in our honorable mention too, just because of a loss to the Texans. No, the Bengals. But they're five there. and four. They're five and four, man. Nah, just, I can't stand seeing the Steelers there. It's just it's hard. To, it's they're I know fraudulent. This, but the Steelers keep finding a way to win, and know, the Bengals didn't. Shout out the Steelers, man! Shout out the Steelers. They'll lose um, in the first round, but shout here, out the here's Steelers. here's like here's my honorable mention. So, um, the Bills without Josh Allen. Yeah, Bills with us. Bills with Daniel Jones become an instant number one pick. <laughs> um, Ant, do you have any changes you want to make before we wrap this up? Um. This is this is more of a biased take. If I'm going to be completely honest, go you ahead. Guys no, no. On, you guys can go. shit on me all you want with it, but I really am on that Joe Burrow like train again, like 100 fucking percent. Take the fucking Patriots off of that shit. I am honestly, <laughs> I'm on that more than the fucking Pittsburgh. Damn. Teams. I am. <laughs> I'm I am for sure. I I'm not gonna. I mean, like, and I don't know if that's straight up just a bias. Like, definitely could be a biased thing. I get that they didn't win. Well, last dude, week. we I had totally them at that. four, fellas. We did. Yeah, we because did they kept the winning. Four. Because they kept winning. And after and they, one, and after one loss, they went from four all the way into maybe honorable mention. That doesn't yeah. make sense to me, honestly. It does. Honestly, honestly, to me, I would take out the Seahawks and I put in Bengals if that was it. Personally, me. But Keen, you got to think about that. They just dropped ten spots for one loss against a Houston team that's entertaining. Yeah, but like, that is kind of wild. Okay, you're right. But like, we have not done that to any other team. Here, if we, if we, or honestly, up, or honestly, if we want to do this, take Jacksonville off. You could put Seahawks on top, and then put Bengals at ten. I would okay. be cool with that too. I just don't know because I honestly don't see a lot of potential with Jacksonville. They don't utilize, they don't utilize half their fucking receiving core. But they are. And but they haven't been utilizing their running backs. They're they're not a powerhouse team. Honestly, Seahawks could fucking beat the Jacksonville Jaguars. But Honestly, Ant, they can't. Has been Ant, silent, man. Ant, but he has been. And but they just put up three points, and they still have more points scored this year, and less points given up than the Jaguars or the, the than the Bengals. And the Bengals are fourth in their division. They're not even in a wild card spot. That's they fucking are, insane. If, if, if granted that division stat, the Bengals were rolling. They, they were absolutely rolling. They were on fire. They were cooking. Everything looked like it was moving. Then you lose to the Texans. And don't get me wrong. It's the Texans. They're exciting. They're fun to watch. But the Texans have at times been very like an immature team. And I just don't know if – granted, I can do this. I can put the Bengals as the first honorable mention. I could put them at 11. But if I think about what this season has been and how – inconsistent that team has been other than their few you know great games they barely beat seattle geno smith literally shot himself in the foot in that game we had every opportunity to win so i'll scratch that whatever i think if we play him again we beat the Bengals. i do i think we're better i also just don't feel comfortable putting four afc north teams up here when they're like not even a wild card team dude I'm going to skip ahead real quick because, see, I was going to mention something about even next week because of the Bengals, right? But this is actually crazy. So in the in that division, right, in the AFC North, it's the Ravens, the Steelers, the Browns, and the Bengals. Next week, the Bengals play the Ravens and the Steelers play the Browns. Yeah, that's wild. Yeah. Like, that's going to be and that's then, gonna be and a then the, week. That's going to be. And then the week after, the Bengals play the Steelers. Yeah, they do. 
Well, I honestly think the Bengals are going to well, take that game. But against the Ravens, I think we I don't should know, keep man. it as it is. Um, like but that's we for, have been kind that was of discussing, yeah. there's definitely things that we could change up. I think the Niners and Lions are kind of interchangeable. Three through five is kind of interchangeable. Eight through ten is interchangeable. Maybe if you include the Bengals. Um, the Bengals are the I most. I think that's a solid list for sure. They're the most fluid team in this thing. They could jump right. all the way up to five with a win right. against the Ravens because, but if they lose and they go back down to five hundred, then you have to take them out. And and honestly, I think the take that Ant had that I really will give him credit for it is the Bengals. If they played the Jags right now, I think would win by ten. Like genuinely, I look at the Jags and I say, okay, they've used Travis Etienne really well, but have they used him well against good defenses? You look at last week; he didn't do anything. He did not do anything. Trevor Lawrence pooped the bed. Yeah. But again. So if they were in that sense, though, realistically, they are going up against the greatest fucking team right. in the NFL. Right. Though. To be fair, in that part of it, but right. nevertheless, it's still good. Good. Calvin good really has Other been struggling. Pack. Christian Kirk has been decent, but that team is just one of those teams. And there was a mic'd up from Fred Warner. I don't know if you guys saw this. Fred Warner literally says they don't know what they're doing. One of the Jags players responded saying, yeah, we don't know what we're doing. Literally said, we don't know what we're doing. That's How can you trust a team, team like that? It's scary. You can't trust a team like that. So I like that take a lot. And I yeah. feel like, you know, the power rankings are definitely interchangeable with some teams, but that was a solid list. Yeah. I, and I, I do. And I agree with your point. I think for me, it's like, I don't necessarily like, I don't say, oh yeah, like, you know, this team could beat that team. And so they should be higher. I'm like looking at it as like a collective, right? If no, if the and Bengals, I get that you're looking at the as Bengals a whole had collective. one less win. Yes. Yeah, the Bengals were five and three. I would go, okay, I could see it there. But with right. at five and four, it's tough to justify. It's, it's, tough. it's tough. tough. It really is. That's it why is they're tough. fluid, and like that's why I also said, rest. you know, that could honestly just be, you know, me riding on the Joe Burrow train right now, 100 percent, because I am. I will fucking admit it. Joe Shiesty, yeah. it's that still that mid season right now. Honestly, he's still not looking bad though. He may have lost, yeah. but man, they're not looking bad. It's been good. Even still. Been good. So um, that's kind of like why, where I was coming from with that as well. But nevertheless, I understand though all at the same time. Yeah. Everyone's points, I understand. Um, well, we were going to do a, a week 11 preview, but <clears throat> we're a little bit over time. Um, so I'll just make this really quick. Uh, some big games, Bengals at Ravens. Um, I'm going to take the Ravens in this. Uh, and we'll, we'll just do a few like big games because some of these are lame. Um, um, I like the Bengals, man. I think they bounce back. Dude, Something's uh, telling me the Ravens said... are going to struggle in the next couple of games. Yeah. And... Yeah, give me the Bengals. Give me the Bengals. Okay. I feel know, like you got to double down, down on what you just said. So I got to yeah, double down. Sure. Plus, I fucking hate the Ravens. Do, am I going to admit they're good? Yes. Fuck Lamar. Fuck the Ravens. I'm going Bengals. <laughs> He's down um, business. <laughs> here's, another, here's another big game. We'll do four. Or we'll do five. Steelers at Browns. Hmm. Dude, the there's no way the Browns lose this, but I have a fucking feeling they're going to. The AFC North, dude, is the most volatile, like inconsistent, okay. trap oh, game esque division. If I was to put money on it, I think I'd put money on the Browns, but my gut is telling me the Steelers, so I'm going with the Steelers. I don't know how they'll pull it out, but they're going to. They will. Yes. And the Browns typically lose fucking games that they play well in the week before. So I don't know. I got to tell them the Steelers. Oh, dude, this week is awful for football. Um, just to, just no, the there are, there are quite a few games that are actually just, amazing. Just to read off, a, Raiders at Dolphins, Bears at Lions, Chargers at Packers, Cardinals at Texans, Cowboys at Panthers, uh, Giants at Commanders, ass. That's a um, mean matchup. Bucks at 49ers, Jets at Bills, Seahawks at Rams. I'll be there. There's like six games in that where it's just a battle for Kayla Williams. It really is, <laughs> dude. Um, that was bad. Here's here here's one. I feel like our last two games are. At, ooh, our Sunday night game is going to be the so Sunday good. night game Monday. is going to be oh, lit. Okay, Sunday oh, night good. Eagles at Broncos, dude. Three straight primetime games. Chiefs, 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 Vikings. Oh, you said you, you messed up. Not, but, yeah, yeah. Vikings oh, sorry, at Broncos. Vikings. Sorry. Um, so Vikings, Vikings at Broncos. Denver. Yeah, give Honestly, me the Vikings. Give me the Vikings. Yeah. Give me the Broncos. It's a clear man. pick. 
I like that. Pick. Don't double Even, down on the Broncos. That's luck last time, dog. Actually, it's no. not luck. They beat the Chiefs. They've been playing well. They've been playing, They've been playing well. fantastic. Okay. Russell Wilson okay. is having Russell a, Wilson's popping off. I'm more talking about their defense. Silent. I'm more their talking defense about their been, defense. In the last four weeks, their defense has actually been like top 10. Very good. Yeah. That is fair. That is and, fair. Yeah. Opposing completion percentage and shit like that. And okay. And for the most exciting game of the year, Super uh, Super Bowl twenty twenty two matchup uh, mm -hmm. rematch: Eagles at Chiefs. This is not looking good at all for Eagles fans, and we all know why. Why? Oh, God, the Kansas really City Swifties. Oh, it is the Swifties. It is, oh, and you know who's going to be there. Hard. Taylor Swift. See, um, here's my thing. I think the Eagles are a better overall team, but the I think, Chiefs at I think home everyone's... is a different fucking breed, bro. They got the refs on their side. Pass from Holmes plays better. Taylor Swift is Taylor there. Swift. I'm not going to say anything other than that. Fucking can't stand that shit, but my gut is telling me that it's going to be really close, but I think Patrick Mahomes will show why he's the best quarterback in the league, even though he's thrown for fucking been, eight interceptions. Bro. He's had an awfully Mahomes, bad, bad Patrick year, Mahomes bad year. Bad Honestly, year. Patrick Mahomes has been a, such a mid-quarterback this season. I think such a mid-quarterback. I'm going to go 31-27 Chiefs. I, I think the refs are going to suck Patrick Mahomes off, and I think they're going to give him the dub. <laughs> I'm going Chiefs. Uh, I think, personally, not to be contrarian, I think the Eagles are going to take this. Um, I hope they take it, but me too. I'm, Actually, no, I don't. No, I don't. What the fuck am I saying? I'm rooting for the Chiefs. Well, Keaton, you should be too. Why? NFC. I don't care. The Eagles you are still the have a chance, dude. We don't have shit this year. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. This is not the year. Record for us wise, to do it. record wise. Yeah, we're six and three. Either, but we're we're six and three. We're awesome. But I truly don't know if I love what the Chiefs have been putting out lately. Their offense yeah. has been stagnant. Their defense has been great. Mm -hmm. But I – this is be interesting. It's a Super Bowl matchup. You're going to have a lot of confidence on both sides. But I I think it really the, – the mood will be set on the first quarter of the game. I think it's one of those games where whoever scores first – Momentum is game. Gonna, is going to – yeah, momentum game. Yeah, I like that too. A lot yeah. of emotions, but – It's going to be high scoring, I think. High yeah. scoring game. 34-31, yeah, sure. I'm calling it right now. Probably won't happen, but that's all right. I've got the Eagles by a touchdown. Book it. Fair enough. Book it. Chat, clip that. Book it. I'm, I'm it. one to know. I'm one. I'm one to know on my recent Monday night predictions. So, um, wow. what are you fucking calling coward and just picking out stats now? Yeah, pretty much. Um, I'm one and zero in the Monday night football games in the last week. Well, uh, thanks, boy. Uh, Please like and subscribe. Please Thank like and subscribe. And listening. We will catch y'all yeah. next week.